start record. Are we recording? Yes, we are. So first of all, I want to take a moment to welcome all my new viewers. I know we do have quite a few, uh, quite a bit of new viewers. Um, lots of people from YouTube that have, um, been uh, looking at my giveaway on YouTube and they saw that um, I was showing where my Ustream channel is. So I know that there's a lot of new ones tonight. Um, I got lots of messages. So really excited to have you on tonight. We're going to be creating this really fun canvas uh, using the beautiful glitz collection. It's called Cashmere Dame. I think that's how you say it. And I've been hoarding it. And um, I told Shauna that my new uh, thing for the last two months has been no more hoarding because my my uh, studio is looking more like a scrapbook store than a studio so it's it's enough right so you're having trouble logging on if there's too many people on honey you it'll just I promise you you'll be able to do it you just have to keep trying okay um so uh, I'm going to get started by showing you some of the things that I'll be using tonight. I may not get to using everything. I always have the intention of using everything. And you guys know how it is, right? So, oh, and I, I already know that I forgot one thing. It's in the other, it's in the other part of the room, but um, I'll go grab it in a moment. So uh, let me just move this off to the side and I'm going to show you the collection that we'll be using. Okay, let me just give me a moment here. Hello, hello moving off to the side moving off to the side all right so I want to show you something first of all this is a, a canvas I've had in my stash um, that I, I don't know I was playing around one day I think on a Ustream show with just privately with some people and my canvas turned out like garbage I, I don't know what the heck I was doing and um, I want to reuse it like I want to reuse it tonight so um, I'm gonna paint over it and we can reuse it. There's no reason why you should throw out a canvas if it doesn't turn out. That's why there's the wonderful world of gesso, right? So um, if it shows that I'm off air, you just need to refresh, okay? Um, hang on, she probably can't hear me saying that. Can somebody write that on for her? Just tell her to refresh to scrap in Andy. All right, so here's the line that we're gonna use tonight. It's called, like I said, a cashmere dame. And look at this beautifulness, right? Like just stunning, 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 stunning. Um, and then look at the backside. Oh my goodness, right? Just beautiful. So we're going to be using um, these papers. I'm not sure how many I'll get to use on this canvas, but certainly um, I'll try because I love it. This one, I know on camera it doesn't look as beautiful as um in person nothing ever does um, but i promise to post pictures as always okay um it, this is so beautiful it's got so many yellow tones and green tones probably really hard to catch and lots of teal actually and then check out this beautiful honeycomb side love that okay and beautiful cherries i'm not the biggest cherry fan but i really love the distressed and teal look to this so it's really great for mixed media projects that yellow looks really bright on camera huh um and then just the red which is really great right it's a really nice thing to be able to for matting and stuff like that and then my for sure one of my favorites out of this line is this paper right here love it love 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 and this backside is awesome as well because it's got the cool honeycombs so lots of honeycomb theme in this paper, right? Um, and then this beautiful one, I love the, the, the lady and so cute, so cute. Very, I don't know, home-like, I don't know, I love it. And then very pink on the back, which is also very beautiful. And then this is my favorite out of the line for sure. Um, the reason I love these flowers, I just think they're absolutely stunning. And I love the way that the um, red and the teal just kind of create this beautiful combination. So really loving that. And uh, yeah. And so there's a couple sheets. And then I grabbed a couple sheets from another collection. I'm not sure I'll use them, but I really like this design. And this is from the Yours Truly collection. And so I might use it. 
and this is another yellow it's more of a mustardy yellow um, and this is also from the yours truly collection but I mean this side doesn't really go uh, so. so this is called like I said cashmere dame by glitz okay and then these two are from the yours truly collection by glitz all right did everybody get that all right so I'm going to go through several different mediums that I'm going to be using tonight so that for those of you that are following along, you guys can um, can go ahead and do this with me. And I'll also tell you where to get this, okay? And um, is my, let me see, is Yvonne on tonight? I thought she was. I need to make somebody moderator tonight. I don't think Yvonne is on. Maybe you guys can all help me moderate. Um, I can't see who's on. I'm having a hard time right now with the chat. But anyhow, I'm going to show you the um, the beautiful mediums. So the first, the paints that I'm going to be using tonight are um, paints by Golden. So I'm going to try to use as much as I can. Um, Hansa Yellow Medium. And then uh, Nap, I don't know how to say this. Hang on a second. Nap, Nap Fall Red Medium. And then the Teal. Okay. Those are the acrylic paints that I'll be using throughout and I'm going to be using some Lindy Stamp Gang sprays so I'll be using two flat Fabios um, the Caribbean blue and the pineapple paradise as well as a starburst which is the point Sienna red flame you don't see her that's okay and then I'm going to be using uh, one of our white paints um, this is of course a demo right because as you guys know I uh um, I'm the distributor for Lindy Stamp King, so I get all the, <laughs> I get all the trial bottles, so I don't have a proper label on mine. I get first to try them and see how they work and stuff, so this is my uh, trial label, and of course I spilled stuff on it, but it's the white with peacock on it. Love it. Stunning. Um, and then, so you guys, by the way, you can get all this stuff. Um, you can get the Lindy Stamp King. It's not quite there yet. Um, but the rest of the mediums that I'm going to show you, you can get them at the Flying Unicorn. And um, let's see if we can get somebody to post the link for us. I'm going to say allow links. Just give me a second here. Um, allow links. There we go. Um, you can get all the stuff at the Flying Unicorn. You guys, this uh, the Flying Unicorn uh, site is amazing. You guys have the, they have the most amazing products totally like stuff that nobody else has it's just fabulous you must go check it out so I'm going to be using these awesome mixed media inks I'll try right as much as I can I have so many inks but um, I'm going to try to use these mi mixed media inks they're awesome I've tried them before they're fabulous oh thank you um these will be so fun because very spongy very um inky very high concentration of pigment and they're made by color box yeah, Donna Salazar, yep, and uh, Colorbox is the manufacturer. And then, I, because there's some pink in that line, I'm going to be using um, some of this acrylic dauber. We, and this color is Pink Sherbert, and you can also get this at the Flying Unicorn. And to do some outlining today, I don't, is this blue? It is, it's, oh, it's Tuxedo Black. It's some Smooch Pearlized Accent Inks. These are awesome. I'm just going through... Um, Yes, the Lindy's will all be in the store in two weeks, all of them. So that's pretty exciting. And I know you guys were asking me about this beautiful ribbon. You can also get this at the Flying Unicorn, you guys, and I'll be using this tonight. You guys will fall in love with the way I use it, okay? Uh, no, I didn't make, but yeah, I made this a long time ago. We're going to cover this up. It's a recycled uh, canvas we're using tonight, okay? I just didn't want to pull out a new one, all right? Lindy's are so cheap. They're, I mean, I, I don't, I think the retail price is, um, for the U.S., it's about, it's just, uh, $5 and Canada is like $5.50 or something. It's no more than that. So significantly cheaper than all the other sprays around. All right. And, um, we're going to be using, of course, of course, the modeling paste. And you guys know, this is my favorite. I also use golden. Either one works. I have both. Um, so that's just what I use. And then, um, but my, this, bo this bottle I use for my shows, the, this liquid text one, because the packet, this is a smaller, uh, tub, 
whereas my golden tub is giant because I use it for classes, <laughs> so I can't pull it up beside me. And then um, I use the Liquitex Gesso, usually for the shows. So this is not even a massive bottle. This is only a 946 mil. This I consider my small bottle. I literally buy them in the tubs. Um, and then what we're gonna use tonight is you can get these. These are awesome for um, for those of you that don't do a whole lot of canvas, but they or a whole lot of mixed media, but you really want to get into it. Um, these are creative mediums, and I've used this brand before. It's fabulous. It really is fabulous. And the two that I'm going to show you, um, the first one is, um, it's just, the, you know, the matte multimedia, right, that you guys are used to seeing. Same thing, okay, this is clear, this blue, the blue one. And then the one that has the pink in it actually has a little bit of shimmer. So not gloss, but shimmer. So really, really fun. And you can get this at the Flying Unicorn. So we can post the link for you guys again, and you guys can go ahead and check that out. Really, really awesome. And I'll be showing this tonight because, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful on embellishments, on paper, just to give it a little bit of oomph. So when it's dry, it's stunning, okay? So I totally took just 10 minutes talking, and I'm sorry about that. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's just, um, I'm not gonna paint the entire canvas white because um, I'm going to be putting so much paper on here. I just want to make sure that my edges are white so that I can put some uh, paper on it. Because as I said before, this canvas is um, one that I just ruined and that I'm just going to repurpose, okay? Okay, so I'm just pouring some on here just because it's easy that way. And woo, we have flying brushes. Tonight is the flying brush night. And so, like I said, I'm just doing the corners. Okay. Can everybody see okay? I'm a little bit off frame. I'm sorry about that. You guys just let me know, okay? Because I know it's a little bit delayed for me, the camera. kind of stop talking when I paint. It's so funny. I just get in the groove. I get in the zone. Right? Do you guys do that too? I may as well just paint this whole thing. And what's really great is you can actually use gesso as, um, as an adhesive if it's still wet. So we might be able to do that tonight. Not sure. We'll see. And what I want to do is I want to paint the edges. So don't ever forget to paint your edges, right? Because otherwise your canvases look strange. And the reason I'm doing an off the page layout is because I um, I really want to hang this in my house. And I don't just want to do a regular layout, right? I'm gonna do the rest of the edges later just because it's easier for the show for me not to do that right now. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to set this down for a moment. I'm going to give this a very quick heat set so that I can go ahead and apply some paint, okay? And you can go ahead and ask me questions if you like, and I will answer them. Any questions so far? I know lots more people are logging on. I can just see those views really going on. I am recording, yep. What's my favorite gesso? Um, I do have two favorite gessos, I have to admit. And um, this is for sure one of them. For my art journaling, I use this a lot, um, which is the Liquitex gesso. And then my other favorite gesso is the Golden gesso, which I find I use for my when I actually paint for myself or if it's something I'm selling then I'll use a little bit of a higher grade gesso yep just the golden I love it I love both 
They're both great. They're both high quality. It's just whichever one you like best. This is lifting a little bit, and I'm okay with that. Because what had happened is, because I'm repurposing the canvas, that's kind of what happens, and I'm totally okay with it lifting. Um, why would I use gesso instead of paint? Is that the question? Or would I use gesso instead of white paint? See, because white paint and gesso are totally different, right? Because when I paint, gesso has a grainy texture because what it's supposed to do, it's a surface prep. So it's going to prep your surface. Whereas, um, and it's a completely different consistency than white acrylic paint. Okay, it's made a little bit differently. So I wouldn't use um, gesso versus paint, right? Totally two different things. Yes, but see the, the beautiful thing, sorry, I'm adding a little bit more because I need to. Um, the thing about, the thing about, um, um, gesso is that it's really great to cover up any mistakes that you've made because it covers it up much better than um, a white acrylic paint that because that's what it's in that's its intended purpose okay um, is to cover and to prep your surface for painting which is why I'm doing this right now so I'm just giving another quick dry and it is it's toothy right and so like I, I can't that's right toothy is, is perfect right it's got a tooth to it so you can apply paint that's right you don't freak out because you can always gesso things it is a primer before the paint you betcha that's exactly what gesso is great question Anybody else as I'm drawing? <laughs> You're learning that from me? Good. Good to hear. I see lots of people are having problems logging on because the view goes up and down. Oh, man. That's what happens when too many people kind of get on. It gets busy. How many are on? Um, just about 70 or more. It kind of goes up and down. Hello. They are creative opportunities. How's everybody? Hi, hi, hi. All right. So what we're going to do um, right now is, oh, it's still wet over here. Hang on. Sorry. As I put my fingers in white paint. Sorry, guys. I do make stencils. <laughs> I'm designing some right now. I do make stencils all the time. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to leave my paints for a moment, and I'm actually going to try and paint with these guys. Woo! As my paper goes to the ground. I'm going to play with some of this teal and some of the, some of the uh, red a little bit. But let's try this teal and see if it's the right color, okay? And I'm going to crack this up with my scissors not with my fingers and this color is called peridot I think that's how you say it you want a class on how to make stencils do you have a silhouette yay welcome Roxy Carr how are ya 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little sponge and I really actually like to use my Tim Holtz sponges. So I'm gonna grab one that already kind of has teal in it. Okay. Ta-da. And we're just gonna apply a little bit on the edges and this is like really wet stuff, okay? And it's really fun. So, oh, look at how beautiful that is. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but it creates a really fun effect. We might not need to use our golden paint tonight. Might just use this. Love this color. I know that for you guys, the camera doesn't pick up the true color, but this is beautiful teal. Okay, so I might pick it up as a blue. It's not, it's, it's really teal. Okay. As you know, as you've learned from the shows, no, these are not pan pastels. These are um, mixed media. Let me show you. Mixed media um, color box inks by Donna Salazar. Okay. And uh, they're beautiful wet inks. I don't know how to explain them. Mixed media inks. So they're very wet and beautiful. I really love them. And because we're going to be covering most of the canvas, I just need to worry about the edges. And I actually really like that there's that beautiful torn paper from the previous canvas that we uh, covered because it gives the paper a whole or the canvas a whole lot of texture, which you guys know I love texture, right? Texture just brings so much dimension to your layouts. It just makes them look so beautiful. Yes, yeah, so you must check them out. You can find these inks at um, the Flying Unicorn. And they have several different colors. So go ahead and check it out. They might even have all the colors. I haven't checked. Um, yeah, but I bet you, I guarantee you, Michaels will have them at a higher price. I don't shop at Michaels all that much, I got to tell you. Um... I try not to at least sometimes you just have to but I don't know yeah the coupons right but you know I just I would sometimes I, I really like to support the local scrapbook stores um, and you know the the retailers the online stores that because I just find that Michael sometimes jacks up the prices and it drives me crazy I just you know I'm a total local supporter and you know that's just kind of how I roll, right? Support the people you know, not the mass market. Oh, I really hate that on camera it looks blue because it's really not. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to uh, read, huh? Okay, so I'm just, this is really, really wet ink, which is really fun. Okay. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add, look at my hands. Is that not beautiful when your hands get totally dirty? But what's always on hand, ta-da, baby wipes, got to keep them. That cut. This is a teal, and it's, the actual color is called, um, it's like a peacock, uh, peridot color, peridot. I don't even know what that means. Okay, I'm going to give it a quick dry because it's really wet. It's a very wet medium. Oh yeah, big tub of wipes, baby. That's right. Oh, you guys were almost at 80 views. Look at you go. Woo, woo. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's a flower. Oh, I'm sorry, Perito. See, I'm not very good. <laughs> oh. Hey, Monica. Welcome to the show. Aw, thank you. You know, though... I say gesso, and a lot of people say gesso. They don't say gesso. So I don't know. I don't know about that. I have to, I don't know who, who, do, who do you ask? I should go to an art store and ask them. 
However, I did get I, I did get um, scolded <laughs> one time when I said uh, I needed to find some Copic markers. Well, she just about slapped my hand. She was like, "It's called they're called uh, Copics." I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never <laughs> I didn't know that. It's not Copics. It's Copics." So anyway. Yeah, there's your little lesson on how to say things. Yeah, exactly. Shame on me, right? All right. Um, what was I going to do next? See, I lost my train of thought already. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I want to put, because there's so much red on the layout, I do want to put a little bit of red. So I might apply a little bit. Now, this color is called Schoolhouse. I love that. Um and I just want to actually apply it with a little bit of a baby wipe because I just want just like that. Okay, I don't want too much. All right? Almost like stamping, right? Random. And I love the effect that the baby wipe gives, right? It's texture, more texture, right? It's like somebody knocking on the door. That's right. And we are going to apply a little bit more teal. So if you don't like the way your canvas is looking, just apply more teal. Baby wipe is your best friend. You can create, it's kind of like a, a, a new way to, it's like another paintbrush. A really cheap, really cheap paintbrush. Okay. Don't be afraid to use it. And because it's wet, it really helps to apply medium on there. All right. All right. All right, just like that. Okay, that baby wipe goes in the garbage. And then what I want to do is I want to apply just a little bit. I want to dry it because otherwise it's going to move too much on me and I don't want that. We're not going to see most of this anyway, so I'm not sure why I'm worried that much. Okay, and then last but not least, I'd like to use a little bit of this yellow, and I do want to grab my little um, my little plate. So give me a moment. Okay, so I want to find my little plate, and this yellow that I'm using is called Hansa Yellow Medium. Okay, and you don't need a whole lot, and I'm going to be using my fingers because I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. So I don't actually care. And a lot of this yellow will be covered up in a moment with some teal. So don't worry if you don't like it. And I love the orangey uh, color that the yellow kind of creates with the red. But what we're doing is we're kind of combining all the colors that the paper has together so that's the effect that we're doing and I know like I said on camera the colors are not true so don't even worry if they look too bright they're really not they're actually quite muted okay so and I think I hear Ava coming down well turkey you guys might actually be able to see her tonight wouldn't that be great a little appearance by Ava so now I'm going to grab teal by golden and I'm going to apply a little bit to my plate and I'm going to grab that same sponge I grabbed earlier and I'm going to just apply a little bit more. And so all you're doing right now is layering. This is the art of layering. You start light and you go dark. If you start dark, it's kind of hard to go light, right? It's just the way it goes. And I know the teal looks blue on camera. So not the right color. So weird. You guys know what teal looks. Uh, I know my nail tech hates me. I swear. She just like. That's why she paints my nails black. She said no more French manicure for you. I was like come on. She's like no. You ruined them. So she won't let me get them anymore. <laughs> Now she picks the color for me. She's so funny. Oh. 
All right. Yeah, I'm cut off. She totally cut me off. Let me dry this really quick. Yeah, I don't mind the black. They always look sharp. <laughs> I don't know what Credo gel is. But I'll ask. Okay, sorry, I'm just ripping some of this off. It's going to get covered anyway, so I don't care. Okay, I'm just peeling it because it's driving me nuts. All right, so now what we're going to do... Okay, there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this to the side for mo one moment. And um, actually, before I do that, let's figure out which paper is going to be our background. And I think I already know... Where is it? Where'd it go? Where's my favorite paper? Right here. This one, baby. Which is why I created that background. Do you see that? Because it matches. And I don't know if the camera actually picks it up, but it actually matches perfectly. Um, so you'll see, once I take a photo of this and I show it to you guys, you guys will be like, oh my God, they're perfect. Which is why I created this, okay? So that paper is so beautiful, right? So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to cut it to fit um, the canvas, okay? So let's do that. So that will mean I'm going to cut about, um, let's do half an inch. Let me cut the barcode off. And like I said, for those of you that came late, if you're still wanting to um, purchase some of the things that I am using tonight, by all means, go ahead and um, get on the Flying Unicorn site and take a look at these awesome mediums because you guys know how it goes. That after the shows, they usually fly. Um, you know, I'm wondering, is this paper... I don't know if this paper line is on the site. Um, oh, perfect. And they have that paper too. Fabulous. Good to know. See, that's a great place for you to pick it up. And I just want to cut about another half an inch off the bottom. Okay. Perfect the mondo. Love that. And I never throw out my strips because you know me, I like to I like to use stuff, right? And I might even cut a little bit off of each side, just a little bit more. So I'm going to cut about uh, another. Do I want half an inch? That's too much. Maybe a quarter of an inch. And see how much I like that. This is kind of how you play. Yeah, a quarter of an inch works. You have more art supplies than clothes. Um, I kind of have an obsession with both. I um, I got to tell you, I love my clothes and I love um, shoes and purses. <laughs> Okay, I love everything. What can I say? What else is there? I love jewelry. I, you know, I love it all. Who am I kidding? Seriously. Who am I kidding? All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be using the uh, Clear Artist Medium. It's called Creative Medium, okay, by ImagineCrafts.com. And you can get this also at um, the Flying Unicorn, as I said. And I'm going to grab my brush just give me a moment where did I, I bought a new brush where is it it's right here I found it I found it ta-da and I'm gonna apply this page I'm gonna apply some to the canvas and then the page okay and it's so jelly and beautiful it's really actually nice to work with you guys it's very very uh, silky so if you guys are all about texture this is just so nice to work with I know a lot of us are quite particular about the mediums that we use because they kind of give us like a certain feeling. Well, you'll kind of like this one then. <laughs> us artsy people, we need to like have a feeling about something to use it, right? So that's why I love this medium. It's really nice. 
Okay, and I'm just applying it. I might need a little bit more, I do, around the edges and such. And for those of you that are just starting with mixed media, these um, jars are the perfect size because if you don't use them, then um, you don't have to worry too much. I know sometimes if you go to the art supply stores and you get a big bottle of something, you're like, oh, but then I can't, you know. What's it called again? It's called um, creative medium. It's a gel medium. Okay, it's a gel medium. Like Mod Podge. See, but the thing is, is this is clear. And uh, I know Mod Podge is white and then it dries, um, it dries clear. But this is more of a gel-like versus Mod Podge is very runny, like a glue. And I find that I have a hard time using it. And it bubbles a lot. Whereas this does not bubble. So I really like that. It doesn't mean I don't use Mod Podge, but I don't use it enough. I, I, I prefer something like this, okay, over Mod Podge. But it's totally personal preference, you guys. You can use whatever it is that you like, and that's why I'm saying. It's just a total personal preference. It does kind of have a haze, right? Whereas this doesn't, so I really like this a lot. So just applying it to the sides, making sure that they're really down. Because as soon as you, you guys, when you start applying a lot of mediums, then what you'll find is that your paper will start to bubble. So you want to make sure that it's really adhered to your canvas. Okay, so something to really just watch. And you can apply this right on top, okay, to seal the edges. So all I'm doing right now is going around all the edges and ensuring that they're really nicely sealed. Okay. And I go a little bit crazy on this. You guys probably don't have to use as much as I use. I just, I don't know. I go crazy. I don't trust myself with the amount of mediums I use. So I just apply a lot. Okay. And then I just seal the edges. I might be off camera and I'm sorry about that. this to the side I really need a baby wipe okay so I have a confession the only thing I absolutely hate on my fingers is glue it drives me nuts I don't mind having paint on my fingers but glue like any sort of stickiness just drives me bonkers it's like it gives me the heebie jeebies is that not crazy it's my confession of the day okay now you know now you know a secret about me it is not Claudine Helmet. This is called Creative Medium. Okay. Oh, is it? Is that who it makes it? I have. To, I never looked at the back. Um. It. It actually says. By ImaginesCrafts.com. It doesn't say to Deco, but maybe they do. Maybe they do make it. I don't know. Yep, Claudine Helmets works as well. Yep. For sure, for sure. Like I said, whatever you have that you like, that's what you want to use, okay? Some sort of Mod podge substance, okay? And just make sure you give it a really nice press, get all the edges. Beautiful, do we love it? What is cheaper? I don't know, you guys. Um, I would go... Um, Huh. I don't know which one's cheaper. That's a really good question. I can't answer that. I don't know. So I'm going to seal this up. Okay. Ta-da. And I have it all over myself, so give me a moment here. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I'm just going to give it a quick heat set. And the only reason I'm giving it a quick heat set, you've got to watch, because when you're applying glue to something, it'll bubble. So just be really gentle with it. Don't get too close. I just wanted to give it a quick zap you see how it'll bubble a little bit so you're gonna watch all right good enough now what I want to do that I forgot in the other room is grab that stencil that I said I had forgotten so I'm gonna run really quickly to my other um, studio and just grab the screen so give me a moment or it might be here hang on
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna, oh, I need to ask, okay. What? What's the question? We're listening. Oh, not me. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so um, I'm going to use this reverse chicken wire stencil and maybe a little bit of this one as well, which is really, really cute by the Crafters Workshop. I um, kind of destroyed the stencil a little bit, um, as you can tell. I don't usually treat my stencils this way, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit ashamed. I mean, it works just fine, but it looks like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to apologize to my stencil I'm sorry stencil oh god I have so many stencils and I love them all it's like they all have a place in my heart all right so I'm going to use my modeling paste and I'm going to grab a knife of choice let's see which one here's my rusty knife I'm going to use my rusty knife that's what happens when you leave it in water and um I'm going to apply it more towards the bottom. I do have an idea of something that I'm going to make tonight, how I'm going to make this layout. I kind of have an idea in my head. So uh, I know it's not usual for me on these shows, but, you know, I actually had an idea. So I'd like to kind of go with that. What do you guys think? Everybody needs a tub like this. Modeling paste is the bomb. Love it. Nothing better than a little modeling paste. And you know what I love about this stencil is that it only does the little edges. It doesn't do the squares, which is really nice because if you have a really patterned paper, it doesn't um, it doesn't uh, cover your entire paper, right? So I'm just applying a little bit right here too. I don't want to do too much. I know I'm going crazy because I love to stencil. It's kind of therapeutic, but I really should just lay off. Okay, I'm laying off. There we go. And I'm going to give this, I'm going to close this up so it doesn't dry out. So as soon as you're done using modeling paste, you always want to close it up, okay? And I'm just going to throw this in my sink. I'm going to lift. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that stunning? Can you guys even see that? My screen's a little bit behind, so it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. I'm going to put this in the sink, and I'll be right back. to have a sink full of water when I'm creating because um, I find that I use stencils so much that I don't want to ruin them like I kind of did that one so it's a really good idea to have and if you don't have a sink in your room get a tub get a little tub and throw them in okay yes uh, what's what what's the percent off what are you guys talking about 20% off for what I missed something. I'll let you guys talk and I'll just create. There's a coupon code for something that I missed. Somebody giving you a percentage off of something. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Look, that is awesome. Woohoo. Look at you, you guys. Awesome. It pays to be on the show tonight. <laughs> Don't you just love it? I know, your bank account's in trouble. Don't watch my shows then. <laughs> I tell you, yet you uh, you can't watch my shows if you care about your bank account. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I am the biggest enabler on the planet. And I don't mean to do it on purpose, but I seriously love everything I use. You guys know that. I don't promote anything unless I love it. It's 
just the way it is, right? You guys know me already. Exactly, right? You guys get good advice on products. <laughs> yes. You do have to have restraints when you're watching my shows. Or a sugar daddy. I know. You've got to have a sugar daddy. That's right. We need more sugar daddies around. You guys are hilarious. What am I trying? You just tuned in? I'm trying some modeling paste. I know it's kind of hard to tell, right? Sorry about that. All right, cool. So now what we want to do is, I'm not going to use that other stencil because I don't actually think we need it, okay? And um, I'm just going to grab my photos where I put, I put them down somewhere. Give me a second. Here they are. And um, I got to pick. I don't know which photos I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to use only one. I really like a black and white. This is uh, going to go in my house, okay? I, will, I did pick a winner for the challenge, um, and I'm going to announce it tonight. Um, there's this one that's teal, so I kind of like that one too, but I just love her cute personality in this photo. Um, and I like this one too because it's got really fun colors and it kind of matches. Um, there's that one. There's the two, so that would be really cute. Um, and of course there's Ava. I'm not sure it quite goes. So I might not do that. What do you guys think? It's time. Do you guys like the black and white? What do you guys think? You guys give me your advice. I like all of them. I'm going to make canvases for all of them, but I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of between these, these, the teal shirt, this one, the first one, you guys like this one? black and white colored picture oh man black and white all right let's do black and white done looks like black and white no colors but we're gonna have so many colors that I think it'll be great to have a black and white photo I promise you there'll be so much color on the page that I think the black and white will be perfect okay all right so what I'm gonna do I really don't want this white border and so I'm, I am going to cut it out, but I really like these big photos for um, a, a canvas on the wall because you can actually see the photo, right? Sometimes when you're making a layout, it's fine when the photos are small because they're in an album, but when they're on the wall, you actually want to see the pictures because not everybody like us cares about embellishments, right? So. Um, that's kind of a visual effect that you want to think about if it's something that's going on your wall because when people kind of have to um, squint to see the picture mm, not a good sign what size is that this is a this would be a five by seven okay how do I hang this this is a pretty bulky canvas right so I can hang it from the back or I can put a little hook on the back of this and hang it up okay because there's all these um, you can buy them at your local hardware store and get those little canvas hooks and and apply them on here okay yeah the white border wasn't working for you for sure I know and I totally got gesso on this. I'm going to see if I can do it with my baby wipe. So give me a moment. Yes, it comes off. I just have to be careful because baby wipe does have some stuff on it. So you got to be careful not to ruin your photo. All right. And um, I'm probably going to cut a little bit of this off because it's a little bit too much for me. There's too much white space that is not needed. So I'm going to cut a little bit of that off. No, it was, it's not a flat one. It's a, it's a dimensional. Oh, that's better. Okay, perfect. See, now it's like square. So much better. All right, so what we're going to do now is before I go ahead and start building my layers with the photo, I'm going to do a little bit of drippage effect. 
and I really really love this green and um, I really really love the teal and so there's a couple things that you can do um, one of them is you can create your own little mister misty thing oh I didn't grab the green what was I thinking I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green so I'm gonna grab the green in a moment but I think I'm just gonna use the pineapple paradise yay for drippage right and um, how do I want to do this I'm just thinking I, I was thinking of another technique sorry you guys it's what happens when you get in your head and you're trying to think so I'm gonna spray and I'm gonna do a lot of it so that it kind of drips down okay and I'm just gonna kind of keep it that way and where is my cloth I'm just grabbing it give me a moment Urgh move out of the way there we go sorry guys and the screen's frozen uh oh can everybody see me okay all right I know it's kind of hard to see when I'm dripping down okay good and then I'm just gonna do a little bit on the top just like that and I just kind of want it to pool. I'm just letting it soak into the paper. And I really got this wet. It's probably kind of hard to see on camera, but it is a super bright yellow the camera does not do it justice at all it's hilarious actually like this is super bright on my page and i on camera i can barely see it can you see the honeycomb yeah it's really cool and so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to grab some of my green give me a moment and um I might use a different medium actually just for fun just to show you guys some different mediums but hang on I just want to try and see if this is the right green no it's not sorry I just wanted to try I'm gonna go get the green one I'll be right back lost it for a moment I was like, where is it this is called luscious lime flat fabio okay and again I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a quick actually instead of a spray I'm gonna do something different I want it to drip okay and I'm actually going to be really brave right now and see if I can find my dropper Let's see if I can find it somewhere give me a moment here Let's see if I have a dropper somewhere I'm going to do something a little bit fun. Mm, no, I don't. That's too bad. Okay, never mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this like this. They are Lindy's products. They are Flat Fabios. And I'm just splattering, okay? But because I want it to drip, I have it on an angle. I know. I'm trying to find a dropper. I can't find my droppers. I have so many usually. I don't know what the heck I did with them. Isn't that hilarious? I, I think they were upstairs because uh, the girls and I were playing with them. This one has no shimmer, which is kind of what I want. I don't want any shimmer right now. And this green matches perfectly with the um, with the leaves on this layout. Okay. So all I want is kind of splatters, which is what I'm doing right now. And I really like the way that it's blending with the yellow, which is kind of the effect I was going for. Ooh, there we go it's happening baby and so much of this will get covered anyway by half of the layout so who cares just go nuts there we go just splatter splat okay now I'm just getting a little carried away yeah flat Fabios do not have shimmers which I love for mixed media stuff okay I have lots of droppers just left them upstairs okay so I'm going to give this a quick dry. I 
a lot of this will get covered, so you'll only see like a little bit. <laughs> You're funny. You are funny. Funny gals. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my, let me just make sure this is the right red, because I didn't pre-spray before I started. Hang on. Before I go ahead and make, oh, see, not the right red. Good thing I checked, huh? Hang on, let me grab the right red. grabbing pinks it's kind of you know what did you know that red is one of the hardest colors to match did you guys know that it's a true fact red is one of the hardest colors to match yes ma'am something that I've learned and same with pink pinks and reds the hardest things isn't that crazy yeah um this kind of, oh, this has a gold in it. Oh, I kind of like that. It's funky. Okay, I'm just going to do very, and this is called poinsettia red gold, okay? Just, that's it. Just on the bottom, okay? A little splash. I didn't want too much, just a little bit. Yes, exactly. Red is just brutal. It's a brutal, brutal, brutal. Don't you love that? Just beautiful. Little splash. And it just kind of ties it all together. Might need a little bit something down here you guys know me look at that we're gonna do a little drippage here come on baby drip there we go that's what I'm talking about another one up here we'll do that again love it all right, enough spraying. Let's layer, baby. And I'm gonna let this sit for a moment and dry while I cut up my paper to layer the canvas, okay? So I'm moving this to the side. And now I'm gonna take my papers, which are right behind my bum. And like I said, I really love this. And we are gonna put some black in this uh, layout, but I do wanna use a couple of these and some of the yellows and some of the really fun Ooh, look at this should we use the black chevron or the honeycomb we got to use only one what do you guys think i'm kind of thinking which one do you love the honeycomb you like it better than the chevron okay all right honeycomb it is and then we're gonna, ooh, there's the yellow honeycomb too. So pretty, right? And then we gotta use a little bit of the cherries, right? Cause we need some of that teal and then we need some of this red, right? So now we're gonna start yell, uh, layering. So we'll move this to the side and we have half an hour to build the page, which is just enough time. It's just perfect. So what I'm gonna do is my first layer, um, I'm gonna do in, let me see, do I wanna do teal? I'm just looking at my canvas. Yeah, I want to do it in the teal. So where's my photo? Now I've got to find my photo right here. I just want to make sure that it is bigger than my photo. So I'm going to say about, um, this is going to be approximately, we'll do it this way so that I can measure for you guys so you guys can actually see. Approximately six and a, let's see, about, six maybe six by five or something like that i hate measuring did i tell you that you guys know that I hate the measuring thing unless i'm actually doing a class i won't measure i'm lazy i'm so lazy six by like six and a quarter or something like that maybe six by six we'll do six by six okay six by six first we'll build the layers and then we'll do stuff to them okay okay we'll do that and then the next one I kind of want it to be let's see do I want I want it to be slightly slightly smaller so I'm gonna do it like that 
a little bit smaller. Okay, just like that. Yeah, you guys must get this paper. It is stinking awesome. I love, love, love it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not sure I'm going to use this one. Maybe I'll use a little bit of the yellow, but I'm going to use it in strips instead of using them in as, as a layer. So I'm going to cut a, just one strip, I think, will be enough. Well, no, let's do two. And we'll do a little bit of a thinner one. Okay. Do that. And then last but not least, we're also going to do, I'm going to cut the barcode off of here. And we're going to do a thinner strip, but a thinner layer, I should say, like a four. So it's going to go the long way for a photo. I don't know if that even makes sense. But we'll see how that looks. Isn't Elda just fabulous? You guys, she's lucky. You guys are lucky she's on tonight. That is pretty awesome. Super, super generous. Thank you. My viewers, thank you, Alda. You're awesome. Okay. And, oh, I didn't quite cut it long enough. I need to cut a longer piece. Sorry, guys. Not quite what I had in mind. Longer piece. Longer piece. There we go. And about, like, right there. Fabulous more what I had in mind. Woo! There goes my glue, my hot glue gun. Okay, don't worry. This is going to be, I'm going to shape this up in one moment. But, uh, so what I'm going to do, I don't actually want this to be straight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going, I want it to have an edge. So I'm actually going to take my scissors and cut at the honeycomb so that it has a funky honeycomb edge versus a straight edge. So what's really great, you guys, is not everybody has die cuts, right? And not everybody has the ability to have a border punch. So it's really great to be able to use what your the paper gives you to play with. Because I know that this craft can get very expensive, as we joked about, but... Um, you don't always need all the tools. Sometimes your paper is your best tool, okay, and your scissors. So just play with what you have, right? But this is not a whole of uh, this is not a whole lot of fussy cutting, right? That was pretty quick, and it'll give you so much texture. So we're gonna do the other side as well because I think it'll make a big difference. They do ship to Canada. You should see the giant box I just got. <laughs> it was like Christmas in February. Just about had a heart attack, actually. All right. Ooh, we've got some UK viewers. That is just awesome, hey? And why don't we do some up top here too? Because I think that'll be really fun if they're kind of random on the top, right? And they're not so square. Kind of like that. That's really fun. Are you guys learning something tonight? I need to check in with you. I need to make sure that I'm keeping you alive, right? Are we learning? We're not learning there's something wrong all right cool isn't that funky now you guys that gives it so much more texture right and then we're gonna have some come in this way 
you're alive and learning perfect that's just what i want to hear all right so what i'm going to do right now is i'm actually going to distress these puppies okay and you guys know that i love to use my beautiful prima tool alda do you carry these in the store i'm not sure but i love these okay it's my favorite tool on the planet <laughs> who doesn't who doesn't love the Prima? <laughs> oh. yeah, exactly. I dream Prima too. <laughs> oh. Like, honestly, I actually do dream Prima. Oh my God, look who's on. We've got Miss Lindy Stamp Gang in the house. Woo, woo. We've got Tracy from Lindy Stamp Gang in the house. I didn't see you. Have you been on the whole time? <laughs> Sorry. I I can't. Uh, it's really hard for me to watch the screen all the time. So um, if you've been on, I'm sorry. And I haven't acknowledged your presence. And... <laughs> She just came on to say flat Fabios and that's it. And then she just gets off. No, this is just the pattern. This is just the way the paper comes. Isn't that awesome? This is just the way the paper comes. I know. You know what, you guys? No joke. I actually do do that. I do keep a um, journal by my bedside because because I design so much stuff and I do so many things like that. I got to have one. Otherwise, I just forget. I forget. It's really bad. Okay, so I'm just building layers right now. And what I want to do is... Um, I want to add a little bit of the yellow. I don't want too much, but I do want to make it kind of like a banner style. So I'm going to do a little tiny banner. Okay. And soon we'll add the flowers. Okay. Because I know you guys are all waiting for like Prima flowers and other flowers to come out. Right. I know you. I know you guys. I know you all. You Prima lovers. Flat Fabio's in the house. That's right. We used, um, what did we use? Somebody was asking colors. Um, we, oh, so this is not a Flat Fabio. This is a Starburst spray. Poinsettia red gold we used. Um, Pineapple paradise. And Luscious lime. Okay. Those are the three that we used tonight. That is what we used tonight. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of clip this one down here. And I'm going to have this one on this side because you want to have your you have to be visually like a w or an x right when you create so you want to make sure that it's on opposite sides because if you have yellows together and then no yellow here your eye will just simply be drawn to this corner and this corner will be blank so it'll look kind of weird okay which is why i have it placed down here does that make sense You got the Prima tool. Oh, you love the Starburst? <laughs> of course you love the Starburst. There you are. All right. So we're going to use some stamps. So we're actually going to stamp on this. So it'll pop out and we'll stamp it with black. So it'll look really, really cool. But what I wanted to do is um, I want to take a little bit of this teal that we had used earlier. And I want to apply, where did my, I was trying to find the little um, tool that I had used. And I totally lost it along the way, right? Because you guys know how this gets. It's probably underneath here. No, nope. who knows where it went. When all the stuff went flying, I think that thing went flying too. But that's all right. Oh, here it is. Look at, I actually put it away nicely. It's like when, you know, when my husband asks me, honey, where are the car keys? They're hanging up right where they're supposed to be. This is not pan pastels. This is mixed media. Um... This is called Mixed Media Ink, Mixed Media Ink by Colorbox, okay? And I'm just doing the edges because what it does is it kind of brings them all together, okay? 
And because this is teal, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some black soot as well. And because we have some black in this layout, and I'm just going to grab a blender tool that's got some black in it right here. And we're going to do a little bit of black as well. And what it does is the black will allow it to pop from the teal paper background that is on here. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see it properly. And we're not going to put teal on teal because you're not going to be able to see it. So it's not going to make any difference. So we're going to apply black to this, right? And I don't want too much black, which is why I'm being gentle about it. I just want a little bit of edging. <laughs> you were asking about my nails. Why every show people ask me about my nails? You guys are hilarious. Uh, these are gel nails. And my nail technician stopped doing my nails um, French manicure because I use so many mediums that I really just destroy them. So she she now picks my color and the only color I'm allowed to use is black. Yeah, so that's uh, that's my story about my nails. If you wanted to know. For those of you that missed that previously. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'd like to put a honeycomb coming out of that side a little bit. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to cut a small piece of honeycomb before I paste this down. Okay. Just like this, not too much. Because I'm like, what you doing? I'll show you just a second. This is what happens when you create with Limor. Too much going on. Yes, cashmere dame. You got it, baby. All right. So what I want to do is I kind of want to tuck that right there. Because what it does is, remember I told you about visuals, right? You want to make sure that your pages are coming together, right? Okay. So there's that. Perfect. So we can go ahead and paste this down now. So we're going to take our handy dandy ATG gun, favorite tool to use on the planet. Nothing better than a little ATG. And then I'm going to make sure that I tuck this in, but let me put some glue on it. Just like that on the edge right there. Fabuloso. And apply it just like so. All the new Prima lines are coming in. Oh dear. God help me. Okay. Just like that. Look at cute little Hannah. And then I'm going to apply this on the bottom, just like that. And we are going to stamp on it later. And then we're going to apply this right here. I'm usually not so quick to paste things down, but um, I'm going to tonight. I'm just kind of being brave. Usually I plan out my layout a little bit more. Not tonight. Being brave. It's great to be brave, right? Oh, do you like it? Good. So glad you like the layout. Do you see how you can't see a whole lot of those splash marks, but they kind of look good randomly, right? So just like that. I just love it. And I love that you can see those gorgeous flowers. And look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. And then I think we'll do that right there. And we'll probably put, let's put uh, uh, pop dots. Let's pop it up. Or what do you call this? Dimensional. Dimensional something. Tape. I'm losing words. I'm losing my mind. I didn't sleep very well last night. You know what? Ava kicked me. Ava came to my bed last night and then kicked me in the head while I was sleeping. And then I couldn't get back to bed. You know, it's kind of what happens when you get kicked in the head. 
not something you expect. <laughs> God love her, but seriously, why are you coming to my bed and kicking me in the head? Like I don't kick myself enough in the head. Now I need now I need a child to do that. It's perfect. Um, I think she said until what did you say? Friday or something? Tuesday? I don't know what you said. Friday. There you go. Until Friday. Yes, they do swimming bed, right? Okay, we need like flowers, you guys, right? Like the, I'm going crazy over here without the flowers. So I'm going to pull out the flowers. But before I do that, what I want to show you is, hang on, it's coming, it's coming. This collection comes with, I'm just grabbing it, just hang tight. This collection also comes with these really cool um, die cut, or what are these called? They're not die cuts, they're like... Um, screens and such and I want to show them to you because we might be able to use it tonight <laughs> okay so I'm going to pull these out because you never know this is so funky how hilarious would that be very very cute oh that is so cute we could put the little saying here little tv maybe because I said so how hilarious is that as a title because I got to use that on a different layout um, but this is really darn cute say it isn't so blah 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 no nope. um, and this is a ooh, this is a cute little frame <laughs> I like this what comes or oh, sorry what comes around or oh, sorry what goes around comes around that's so perfect we totally could use this, but she's just so cute and innocent. I can't use something bad. So I think we'll use this and put like a little saying in there. What do you guys think? And then uh, put some flowers on here. Do you like that? I really love that. We still have 15 minutes to finish our page. Yeah? Okay. I kind of like that. It's so cute. If we don't use it, we don't use it, but whatever, right? It's part of a. It's part of the collection. We almost have to use it, right? I'm just looking because Glitz has the most beautiful um, things, right? That it always comes with. So I was just checking to see if there was anything else that may fit. That see, look at this. This is so beautiful, and it totally goes. Like, look how beautiful that is. I should have put it underneath. Oh, I still can. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, I will. I'm gonna cut it in half. Let's see. I don't know what it says, but it looks good. And I'm just using my scissors because I can use the other half for another time. But look at that. I love that. Love. Love, love, love. It just kind of comes together. And then here, this will be covered because there'll be a saying popping out. Okay? So we're good there. So let's add that in. Okay? So... There we go. Exactly. It was, oh, that's not sticking, is it? My needs, oh, needs sequin tape. Actually, let's use dimensional because um, with the dimensional stuff, it'll actually be really fun if it's popping up because then the flowers will pop out. Since this is going on a wall, I don't really care how dimensional it is, right? All right. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Okay. Fabuloso. And we'll do this kind of, uh, we'll kind of leave it there, but we're not going to put it on quite yet. All right. So I'm going to move this to the side and let's get on with the flowers already, Limor. Come on now. All right. So here's some really funky flowers that I love. These are Prima flowers. You can find these at the Flying Unicorn as well. And um, they're a wonderful teal and it totally goes with this page. So I'm so totally going to use them. And I love these cream ones because it totally goes with the other cream. Well, actually, maybe not that one, but this one does. This one totally does. This one, not so much. Exactly. Flowers. Okay, so we're going to put that back. Oh, sorry. You guys probably want to know what this is. This is called uh, Bionetta Songbird, item 555559. Okay. Yeah, so that's what that one is. And um, just 
hang on just trying oh here's some more crema and i love these because we can color them up a little bit and these ones are called um parissa aspen white and i love these because um you can color them whatever you want right so they're super versatile so you can use your lindy stamp gang right on here and play but i actually want i don't want too many of these big ones i might just use one of these yeah, like I want to take that out and I want to use smaller ones. I want to use different ones. These are kind of too similar. You want to start creating a little bit more of a pattern. <laughs> You're just adding those to your cart. Um, Lucerne Songbird. Okay, we'll use a couple of these as well. Okay, and we can paint them. That's why I'm kind of grabbing the white ones because I can go ahead and paint away, or spray, I should say, I'm sorry. And what else? Oh, we want some black, right? We need some black flowers. But actually, do I have the little black flowers? I might, it just might. Here's a small black flower, which I wanna use. And these are from the Flying Unicorn. Look how beautiful they are, you guys. Pretty, right? It's called Victoria Garden. And these are Flying Unicorn's own paper flowers. And so we need a black in there. Got to use that. What's that? I need a stash of money for stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep pulling out all this stuff for you guys. You guys are like, seriously? Stop, woman. These are also from, this is called Enchanted Passion. And they're the cute little roses. So we'll use those in there. And we do need a little bit of pink because there is a little bit of pink. And these are called Sweet Mix. So cute. So we'll use a couple of those. And let's see. I'm just looking. Hang on. Looking at my stash, baby. And then there's a couple black ones here. So we'll use some of those. All right. And I think we might need one big one. Maybe we'll use one of these. We'll see. All right. So let's. Oh, 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 oh. And I can't forget. We're gonna use one. Of, we're gonna use some of these. I think. All right. So now let's build it up. All right. So this is how we build. So this is like my number one asked thing is how do you layer flowers? I swear I get emails on this. It's crazy. So let's do this, right? Um, these are from Manor House. Okay. And. Mascarpone, that's what it's called. You need a, a sleepover where at my house? These are kind of funky. I hadn't quite played with these yet. So, but I think I kind of want to scrunch it up a little bit. Really, really fun. And um, I really want to add some pop to this. But what we want to do is you always want to find your big flower. That's what you want to do. Always grab your big flower first. And then what you want to do is you want to start adding layers to that. So then you start tucking. The trick is tucking. And I'm actually going to peel this off a little bit and move it over. And it might be a little bit hard. I might rip my photo, but I'm okay with that a little bit just because I'm going to add flowers there anyway, but I want the banner to be seen. So I'm not too worried. So add the flower I might not use this flower I'm not sure I'm not sure it goes with the layout so you grab a big flower and then you start tucking okay and we'll need leaves and then we tuck and then we'll spray once we figure out our positioning we'll spray all right and so you want to start just layering this is how it goes and you tuck a little bit underneath here tuck a little bit underneath there one over the top here right just like that <laughs> between Limor and Tracy the main Hobby Lobby knows my name oh my god that is so funny you are hilarious all right and we do need a couple more black flowers so or at least one more so we're going to grab one from here and I love these these are um pearl uh pearl Baby Almanac. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but something like that. And this will go somewhere around there, okay, once everything is sprayed. 
and because I'm a flower junkie I might add a couple more of these cute little ones once I spray okay and then last but not least what we'll do is I love these Prima Shabby Chic treasures I'm addicted to these I swear and because I promised myself I wasn't gonna hoard them I um, I'm not going to but I really do love them but I'm gonna use these corner pieces maybe just one corner piece and I might use it right there because I think it looks so pretty there just like that and I might use one on the bottom here this is so pretty but it's a little bit too ornate for this layout and this is a little this layout is a little bit more whimsical so I don't necessarily want to do that I might not even use the TV you guys because the flowers are a lot what do you guys think should I be using the TV I'm trying to figure out how the heck to use it I might not need the TV after all the flowers are sprayed and stuff I don't know let's see maybe it is kind of cute no TV I didn't think so all right no TV <laughs> I'm sorry TV you've been retired you have been retired okay hey I'm gonna do a little bunch of flowers right here on the corner with a little bit of some of the black um, pieces okay like something like that all right Ooh, actually that's what we'll do we'll add this right here we'll do this right now we'll add the medium and is this gesso this is gesso, so we'll need a little paintbrush. Oh, we're using my watercolor brush. I'm crazy. I know I shouldn't be using my watercolor brush, but I'm doing it. Okay, just like that. We're using a little bit of medium. And we'll use a little bit of the yellow pieces that I cut off. See, never throw anything out. And you want to just use this like washi tape, okay? And then you apply this over the top, just like that. Okay. Never throw scraps out. It's always fabulous to keep them. I'm telling you. Just keep your scraps. Keep your scraps. All right. And we'll put some flowers on here. All right. Okay. So let's close this up. Spray the flowers and the show will be over. You love my nails? Oh my God. You guys are hilarious. Okay let's um let's spray these puppies so let's move this off to the side otherwise we're going to spray this entire thing and we're going to grab our cloth which i moved off to the side i'm going to spray on my cloth tonight i don't have my splat mat right in front of me okay so we're going to spray right here i'm going to pull these off and we're going to give them a little something not the black ones but and not the teal ones but the rest okay and so we'll pull these teal ones and the black ones off to the side and we'll and maybe this one too and so what we want to do is we want to try to match them so I'm going to do the first one in yellow and I don't want too much and then maybe we'll do the center a little bit of green I'm being cautious Woo! a little too green for me there Okay, let's see on the layout. Ooh, that's funky on the layout. Okay, look, I like it. You guys can't see it, but it looks good, I promise. Okay, and um, what do I want to color this? I might just want to put some of this. Ooh, let's use the mixed media paint. Let's see with my fingers. Ooh, my fingers are the best tool on the planet. Ooh, I love that. Love, 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 love. Since you love my nails, now you can look at my nails while I color these beautiful flowers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the red one, since we have some red on our layout. And I'm going to do this flower in the red. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to wipe my fingers off and grab these. And we'll add some more of the little ones as well. But let's lay this down. I might not like this big flower on there I'm not sure it's kind of killing me over here 
might need a big black flower I'm thinking what do you guys think I think it needs a big black flower yeah I have some red right here and I want some of the red flowers oh I know there is some red flowers in my package actually check these out how cute are those we can use some of these but I'm kind of hating this flower right now so let's paint it black let me just go grab the black hand I found the black. I'm not sure. I think that's better, you guys. I like this so much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, totally, you guys. This is like what it had to be. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? You guys were supposed to be like, no. I don't know. We'll try. We can water them down and see how they look as we add them on. Okay, so let's add these puppies on. Because this show is getting long. Actually, no, we're right on time. We just have, um, we're right on time. We're going to be about five minutes over. Okay. I don't want to lose viewers over here. You guys are going to get bored really quick. Come on, baby. Okay, there we go. Just like that. And just like that. Just like this and just like this. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're never bored. Good to hear. Okay. Add this flower on here. And I'm using the awesome three in one. I love this glue. Another new favorite. Beacon, my new favorite glue, by the way. All right. Yeah, Fabri-Tac is great. I don't use 450 anymore. I'm done with 450. Okay. Um, just saying. Just don't ask me why. Um, see, I'm watering it down right now, and the paint doesn't seem to move with the water. So it's interesting. So it doesn't bleed, as you were asking. It barely moves. So I'm not sure it makes any difference whether you add some water or not to it. So I, you know, it's just kind of how it is. So I wouldn't, um, yeah, it's just the way it goes. Okay, so I'm going to kind of tuck this underneath right here. I'm going to have that kind of sit right there for now. And I'm going to add this right here. It is, right? The black looks great. I agree. Really, really loving it. And I think that kind of the cream colors, when it sits with it, it really um, makes it look nice. It kind of tones it down a little bit. Whoops. Right? It kind of takes kind of the harshness away. So I, I really love that. And... Um, I love these little teal flowers that will just kind of sit right there. And then we need a little bit of a red one right there. Right, just like that. And then maybe another teal one right there. Maybe like right, ah, I don't know, maybe down here. <laughs> okay, down here. 
right? Just like that. Am I off camera? I don't think so. There's a lot of black on here, you guys. I'm going to tone it down with a little bit of gesso, so no worries. And uh, what I want to do is I want to add these cute little red roses, and these are called Happy Secrets. I'm really going over time today. I'm really sorry, you guys. I've been doing so good on my shows. Not usual. I haven't usually been going over, so I'm sorry. Okay, and we'll add a little bit of red because I think that's just what it means. These are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Seriously. So stinking cute. <laughs> yes, those are cute little mini buds, right? How adorable are those? They're so perfect to just add that little something to any layout, right? Like they can just be popping out of anywhere. Look at that. They just kind of give it a little something. So pretty. You can clump them together, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use them all up. So sad for one layout. This is what I do. They do, right? And just clump them together like that. And you can just kind of add it to the bottom right here. And because this glue kind of takes just a, a few more minutes to dry than than others then it's really great because you can still play around with it and kind of lift so it adds a whole lot of dimension I really really love it and we're going to add a couple uh, maybe one or two down here we'll add one and see how it looks oh I love that we need two we need two down there whoops okay and maybe we'll add do we need two like that yep yeah, just like that just like that perfect love it love 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 all right and then the only thing I'd like to do before um, we finish is um, use a couple of these little ones and these are what did I say these are called where flower whispers I think I love these flower buds. I need to get some. I need to get me some. I need to get me some. I kind of like the white, so we're gonna keep them. Keep it white. Um, because I think we have enough yellow. I don't think I need any more yellow on this layout. I'm not a. I'm not the biggest yellow person. I gotta admit. So it was a little bit bold for me to work with yellow. Um, yeah. So. Just saying. I'm not sure where I want this white. Just playing right now. Just playing right there. Come on, baby, come out. I'm running out of glue. I'm running out of glue. Somebody send me some glue. Do you like it? Okay, good. All right. So um, I actually wanted to add a few more mixed media things to it, like a couple stamps and stuff, but we're running out of time. I took too long on this show kind of went a little bit crazy on this show too many little techniques when you have so many techniques it's actually really hard to um <laughs> to do everything you want to do right that's just the way it goes right so um i'm going to show you what it looks like and what i'll do maybe is um at the end of the show well actually i'm done now i'll add maybe a couple more things to the layout um, a little bit later but what i'd like to do is i'd like to kind of bring everything together so what I am going to do that I'm going to show you really, really quick is I'm going to take my black soot since that I buried somewhere, somewhere over here. And I'm not even sure where the little dauber is either. Not sure where it went, but we'll use another one. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to just kind of bring it all together. And you do that by inking the edges a little bit because what it'll do it'll just kind of allow everything to just blend just kind of finishes the page off a little bit and it does need a little bit of stamping here and there what well, doesn't need it I want to do it so I think I'll do that um, just to add a little bit more dimension and it does need a title right but check it out. 
this is what we finished. You like that? This is what we got to finish tonight. Good for one night, right? And um, I promise I'll add a title and I'll show it to you. But pretty good progress. And I'll show you what it actually looks like in real life because those colors look totally horrendous on camera. All right. So lots of colors, lots of layers, lots of dimension, lots of new techniques. Um, hopefully you learned something. And uh, it totally needs like a banner down here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a teal banner down here. So, oh, I know what I forgot. I was going to use the, um, <laughs> I was going to use this funky technique with this ribbon. Oh, hello. I was going to tuck this underneath here. I might just do that right now for some dimension. Look, my flowers are still not dry. Oh, I'm so doing it. Look at that. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. Check how funky that is. <laughs> and because it's green, it kind of really goes with this layout. Isn't that cool? I know, I totally forgot. This is what happens when your desk gets buried. I could create a layout for hours, I swear. Hours, I tell you, hours. Let's see if it lets me lift it up. I don't know. I'm going to have to like tuck it underneath or something. I'll play with it. But isn't that fun? Yeah, exactly. Who makes this ribbon? I have no idea, but I know they have it at the Flying Unicorn. <laughs> okay, so I'll be tucking more of this underneath and then created a funky little title. But I just really wanted to show you this really funky ribbon that you can add dimension to all of your stuff. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are amazing. I love you. Your support is incredible. So many people on the show tonight. So I know it was a little bit hard to, um, uh, you know, get on. So for next show, you guys, you might want to get on a little bit earlier uh, before the show starts and you'll find that it'll be much smoother. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you. You're amazing. Um, for those of you that are really far away, I'll be doing afternoon shows. I think you guys know that. So that'll be really great for different time zones. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you, Alda, for being so, so generous that you totally didn't have to do that. My viewers, thank you. I totally know that. Um, the code is Lee Moore. You can go ahead until Friday and you'll get 20% off. She just ordered all the Lindy's, which I'm so excited. We had to nudge her. <laughs> a little bit and it's amazing it's amazing so um yeah that's all i've got to say love you guys good night and it's recorded so you can tell all your friends that have missed the show to come and watch it if they want to all right thank you good night <laughs>